The world has changed. In the course of the last few decades, globalization has brought together not only different political systems and economies, but also different people themselves and their cultures. The internet serves as a meeting point as well as a hub to interconnect people and bring them closer together. PCs, mobile phones and tablets allow 24-7 access to almost everything that is happening in the world. The flow of information is instantaneous and it is possible to discuss virtually anything of interest through social media with people from all nations. Unfortunately, the vast opportunities offered by mobile technologies are seldom made use of and the confines of the traditional classroom setting are hardly ever left behind. The project Mobile Learning in a Global Society wants to serve as an example of how easy it can be to open up the classroom to and for different perspectives, cultures and people. Child labor represents a common topic in the German curriculum. Often it is presented in a comparison with countries where child labor is still existing. However, it is hardly ever discussed what the people in those countries know about child labor themselves. Students of Rennbuckel Realschule Karlsruhe, Germany and ZP High School Sakoli, India met online and discussed the topic of child labor. This form of learning is called telecooperation and is made possible by modern technology and mobile learning arrangements. In a first step, the topic is prepared at both schools individually. The students research different areas of the topic by collecting and reading interviews and articles online. The task then is to review the topic from different national perspectives through the use of the video chat application Skype and to work on questions and ideas collaboratively. The learning scenario is highly authentic and situated since the students are dealing with real life people from a different culture. The students ask each other questions and therefore get their task from the other side and vice versa. Personalization is also addressed, but the main focus is on collaboration. The students work together in a binational group, compare, connect and discuss their findings and collect the results in a wiki. On this platform, the students can compare their results to the ones of their partners. By using English as a lingua franca in this type of real-life classroom interaction, the students can experience and improve their foreign language competencies. At the conclusion of the project, the students come together in one final Skype conference and present their collective results. This is also an opportunity to discuss ideas for further research and projects. Her name is Vandana. Okay, wait, so you, you, you looked around your town for children that actually work? And you met a six-year-old girl that works. Yeah. And my name is Frida. <laughs> why does why does the left boy don't have a uniform on? Ah. Hi. Hi. My name is Nan, and I am telling about child labor in my town. Hello, my name is Rico and we have us informed about dangerous jobs in India. <laughs> and, hello, I'm Pauline and... Uh... If you're interested in this type of project work, the following websites contain information on possible partner schools. At epals.com, your students can find individual partners for video chat, chat or email but you can also find partner schools and other teachers to link up with. If you're looking for partners within the European Union, you can start your search at eun.org. It provides you with a lot of information about what is here called eTwinning, or you have a look at the website eTwinning.net. The website of the British Council is a great resource and starting point for your partner search. It offers a wide range of information from how to set up a partner project to apply for funding. Have fun with your new friends from all over the world.